four o'clock in the morning. How long is the flight? It's three hours and fifteen minutes. We'll be in a different time zone, babe. Our time zone is one hour after PST, but we all did daylight savings time to PST. I guess that means we'll be in Ohio around 7.15. Everyone in Green Hills did daylight savings by changing the clocks two hours behind. This happened years ago, but some hurries have different time zones. Isn't our time zone in MST? It is, but we changed our clocks to go with the PST time zone. So it'll still be 9.15 in your high, huh? You mean it will be 5.06 if we haven't changed our clocks? That's right. We're making the most of our day with a lot of sunlight. I should get some extra sleep, Daddy. Me too. Welcome to Green Hill Zone Airlines. Today our flight is going from Green Hills, Montana to Cleveland, Ohio. It will be around three and a quarter hours with clear skies throughout. In the unlikely event of a water landing, inflate the life vest and deploy the oxygen masks along with getting the raft. Other than that, enjoy the flight! enough for all of us to fit in together. Oh yeah! I'm glad that you came here for the vacation. Was this a surprise for me? Quiz Knuckles, I did this for your birthday and today is Hedgehog Day, too. That was very thoughtful of you, Sonic. Thank you, Knuckles. You're welcome, Sonic. We're definitely going to hike on the Towpath Trail. Oh yeah! We could also stop at the Kennel Hills Array and play in the snow. Hey Freya, let's do some snow tubing here. Okay, here we go! Whee! Let's do it again! Okay! This is so much fun!
have lunch at the dining area on the towpath trail. That sounds like a great idea, babe. We could also do some hike as we go. Oh, yeah! Iowa is a very scenic place, especially in the winter, too. Our plan is to do the towpath trail on the Ohio and Erie Kennels for today and tomorrow. It's a good time to do a bit of the hike now. We'll stop for lunch as we hike. How about we have lunch at Bo's on the river? Oh yeah! This restaurant has a breathtaking view of the Cuyahoga River. There's nothing more beautiful than a vacation out in nature. We've got our maps out, so let's explore! Our map says that we've crossed Lake Erie! Let's follow the trail until we get to the restaurant. That sounds like a great idea, Sonic. Oh yeah! We are already at the Cuyahoga River. Just look at all the trees. Babylon is taking her nap, and we need to watch for the ice. It's very slippery! That's right, Freyir. It's important to walk carefully whenever you see ice or snow. The hotel we're staying at is next to the restaurant we're going to. We're going to the hotel in the evening, but for now we are hiking the towpath trail. How long is the towpath trail, Mommy? The towpath trail is 101 miles long, but we will do some hiking and driving. Wow, that's a lot! I bet it looks so beautiful out here. There are several amazing historical sites there, too. This has been here for over 100 years. Really? This place is very old! But it's also iconic and memorable, too. The distance from the hotel to the towpath trail is about 33 minutes. A spin dashes in the rental car saves us plenty of time. Oh yeah! We can explore the scenery as we head to our destinations. This river is very long! How far does this river go? The Cuyahoga River is 85 miles long. That's another long distance, too. A hike with my family and my best friend is the best. I didn't expect you to come, but I'm glad you're here, Natalie. Thanks, Freya. I'm glad you're here, too. You're welcome, Natalie. Just look at the Cuyahoga River from here. It's so breathtaking. What would you girls like to have for lunch? We'll have mozzarella sticks. I'll have mine with baked potatoes. I'll have mine with fries! Fries are made from potatoes, Natalie. Freya and I have a lot in common, but we have potatoes in unique ways! Exactly! This is what we'll have for lunch! You can only have small bites, Evelyn. I think Evelyn likes it! Oh yeah! She loves chili dogs, too! a lot of words before. Freya's first words were oh no. That's the opposite of what Evelyn was saying, but it's adorable. I agree, Freya. I can't believe you were almost four. And I can't believe Evelyn is almost one. Kids grow up so fast, even though we're slowing down. Oh yeah, if you gotta go fast, slow down. It's 2.30 in the afternoon, so let's take some pictures at Little Falls. Sunset is at 5.44 p.m. So let's get going. Tomorrow morning we're going to the Scenic Railroad. It's going to be about three hours long and we'll hike on the towpath trail too. feeling nervous. It's very loud when you're inside. You'll get used to it free ya. It's going to be okay, Emily. 
If you're nervous about the noise, focus on the natural scenery instead. Okay, Mommy. It's very scenic, though. Look at all those trees! I see them. There is a lot of snow there. There are some dead leaves that haven't fallen. Why are there still leaves on the trees when it's still the middle of winter? Some trees don't shed all their leaves and the snow makes these leaves come to the ground. Does this mean that there will still be leaves once winter is over? Depends on how old the tree is. It's starting to sound more quiet here. Evelyn is taking her nap, Natalie. The train is moving slowly so that we can see and enjoy the views. There are a lot of trees here. A forest has a lot of trees. This is a very deciduous forest. You mean that this forest will grow leaves when spring begins and shed its leaves in autumn? Oh, yeah. Deciduous trees are the opposite of coniferous trees. Does this mean that coniferous trees stay green year-round? It does, however. The trees aren't perfectly green. That's because there's a lot of ultraviolet that can be seen, so our eyes see these trees as green. Color is the visible light that we see with our own eyes. Light from the sun here creates such beautiful colors of nature. I still don't get it! That's okay, Natalie. You're still learning a lot. There are several different places where we could hike across the Ohio and Erie Kennels. Oh, yeah! Let's go to Log 39 of the Towpath Trail. How old is this place? It's more than a century old. October 11th, 2000 is when this place was officially declared as a national park. That was way before Freya and I were even born. We were only kids then. Let's do some hikes for the rest of the day. house for a sleepover. Oh yeah! That way Evelyn can get a good night's sleep. I've had a sleepover with Reese and Ainsley on May 20th, 2022. This is my very first sleepover. It's going to be a blast. Make sure that the girls are in bed by 9.30. Knuckles. Okay, babe, leave it to us. It's 8 o'clock at night, so we'll get the girls ready for bed soon. The girls already brushed their teeth and changed into their PJs. <laughs> All right, girls, it's time for bed. I'm still too awake, Daddy. Look at the time, it's 9.15 at night. They'll be asleep eventually. <sighs> Thanks for coming to Cuyahoga Valley National Park with your mommy and daddy, Freya. You're welcome, Natalie. And thanks for helping us with the hike. Good night, Daddy! Good night, girls! <laughs>